Today I'd like to talk a little bit about Vista's user account control and running your user account as a low rights user. I get the question quite often that, well, I'm running user account control or UAC and I'm a low rights user so it's impossible for me to get infected or I'm, I'm completely safe. And we're going to demonstrate today kind of a real world example um, of while those, those methods are excellent and security is always best applied in a layered approach, that th those two methods are not necessarily going to protect you. Um, you certainly need to run an additional layer of security such as an antivirus product um, like Bluepoint. So what we're going to show you today is a simple threat demonstration, something an average user might run into. So we've got a virus here set up on our internal web server. We're going to pop over to virus total here just to show you that this is a known in the wild threat out there. And we'll go ahead and send it on over here. All right, let's see what it tells us here. Last report. As you can see, not a good file. Not something you want to uh, execute on your machine, most certainly. So, again, this is our web server. This file is hosted internally on our web server, just so we can show you a demonstration of a web threat. So I'm going to bounce over to our test machine. This is uh, Windows Vista x86, running as a low rights user. I'll pop over here just to show you guys. Uh, we'll go over to user accounts. You can see I'm a standard user rather than an administrator, so I don't have full rights on this machine. Um, also, we have user account control turned on, so we don't have that disabled. We've got that fully enabled and ready to go. So I'm going to open up Process Explorer here, and this is just a simple tool that will show us if anything is allowed to execute with inside, inside this VM here, just so you guys can see kind of the uh, effects of this threat make this window kind of small here so we can still have a good look at Process Explorer so we can see what's going on on this machine. And we're going to hit our web server here. Now, that's something an average user, you know, some of you techies certainly wouldn't be fooled by something like this, but an average user uh, that's certainly not an expert in, in uh, the ways of computers may be fooled by something like this. What this is is a screenshot of a video that looks like a video that they want to play. Well, then when we click the video, we get Windows Video Player XP.exe is what I've actually named this virus. So the average user, eh, they might just go ahead and run that. Publish cannot be verified. Yeah, sure, why not? Well, you're going to see the effects in Process Explorer. You can see all those executables running. We've got errors all over the screen. This machine is, is essentially done at this point. Um, so the problem is, a lot of people would be asking, well, why does that happen? They had low rights. Just because an account's running as low rights and user account control is enabled, it doesn't stop executables from running. Um, certainly running as a low rights user, it doesn't prevent you from running programs. Same deal with viruses and malware and drive-by downloaders. You're still quite easily infected with these type of things. And user account control is more so designed to protect certain sensitive areas of the operating system rather than to actually prevent threats from running. Um, it's a lot of times going to allow the threat to run, but it's going to try and restrict what the threat is doing. But as you can see, this machine here is not, not in good shape. These are all or, uh, executables rather running in memory. So that is something you certainly don't want to happen uh, on your machine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to run over here and install Bluepoint just to run a scan on the machine so we can kind of see the, uh, the after effects of what happened on this machine. Um, there'd be no real point showing you the infection if we didn't kind of show you the, the uh, effect of what happened to this machine. And again, this big gray screen you see back here is sort of the skeleton of... Um, this virus that's actually running on this machine. I think normally you're not supposed to actually see that. I think something went wrong with their code there. You can see it's tracking my mouse position and various other things. It's got a some sort of autoloader PHP script. Again, all bad news. Not good at all. 
uh, let me run that as full writes here so we can get Bluepoint to install. It's interesting that uh, it has a problem with Bluepoint executing, but it certainly didn't seem to have a problem with the uh, virus sort of pillaging the system here. And let's go ahead and get this installed. You can see all these access denied pop-ups. That's probably the virus. Again, user account controls and running as a low rights user is certainly helping us out there a little bit. So we're waiting on the scan to complete here. I'm fighting with the pop-ups here. Again, you know, low rights is sort of probably helping out a little bit there with uh, some of the actions that this virus is doing. The problem is, first of all, it was allowed to execute, which is not good. You don't want to ever allow malicious code to execute on your machine. You certainly want to have some sort of security layer there that's capable of preventing that. Uh, quick scan's almost done here. There we go. So you can see these are all the items that sort of infested this machine. And it's quite amazing on this, this particular threat here, all of these items came simply from running that one executable. You noticed when uh, we were showing Process Explorer earlier how many executables were actually spawned. You can see the list here. These are all programs running in memory from that one executable. So it's obviously copied itself here in the temp directory and made a, a lot of copies of itself. So we'll go ahead and clean that up. So that's it for today, guys. I just wanted to kind of do a quick demonstration. We get the user account control question quite often, and I just sort of wanted to address that. And the best way to, see, to uh, actually show you is just to show you a quick demo of something an average user may actually run into on a daily basis where user account control running as a low rights user is not really always going to cut it. You definitely want to run a, a security product. Obviously, um, Bluepoint would certainly prevent something like that from happening in the first place. Um, Bluepoint's not going to allow any executable code to run, period, without your permission unless it's a trusted known source. So things like this would be completely mitigated um, with Bluepoint. User account control, a lot of people kind of get it confused that user account control is process control or execution control. User account control is really just simply protecting sensitive areas of the operating system. It's not really um, going to cut it when it comes to actually preventing an infection in the first place. Again, good layer security. Um, the more security layers you can sort of have in there, uh, the better. But uh, just wanted to do a quick demonstration to demonstrate that uh, user account control and low rights are certainly not solving the problem.